I did rescue some Zodian photo cells out of some street lights which got chucked out. Um, they're all uh, Zodians SS12A 70 lux. Eight ampere to hundred twenty puff, three times four hundred HPS the design for that. So I'm gonna test these. Need to send a few of these overseas as well, so they all look pretty good, I'll see if they work. So I've got all these uh, devices connected, so PowerPoint here. It's sort of watt meter and then we'll check what the usage is. They're four in parallel, uh, nothing connected, let's see what happens. Oh, the indicator lights are Oh, something is making noise. We're doing 0 0.1 amp. That's interesting, the sound. Turn the light off. Oh, the red flashing lights are working, that's good. Three on the right seem to be pulsing. Turn the main light off. Interesting to work out which one does that noise. The one on the left, that one hasn't responded yet. Total loading is uh, 4 point, well, half is a bit, 4 point something watts, 5 watts, 0 point, 90 milliampere, power factor is very low. The bare mount is no load connected to these devices. That's an interesting sound. I'll be on a gas device, I'm going to investigate what's going on. Energize device. This is all making the noise, this fire breaking. A bit foggy inside too. The one is in crisis, the other one seems to work. Okay. Yeah, they're all pulsing. These pulsing. This one feels a bit warm. Okay, I got one more Zodian here with a connector, so I need to wire that up and I'll swap that over, see if it works. Okay, I have removed this device. I'll let it dry up a bit because it's all fogged up. And I in, put that device in there, so we're gonna plug this in and see what happens. I have to load test these, of course, as well. I haven't done that yet. It actually might be a different version because they've got a black casing and the other ones have got a see-through casing. So the manufacturer may have omitted the uh, LED. I prefer, I prefer these, they're actually quite cool. You can hear the clicks, so that means on or off. Or... Of course I've got the live output wires taped up for now. So, yeah, the load is uh, oh, it's dropped down quite a bit, 1.4 watts, and there's four, four units in there. So that other one was absorbing a bit more power, that's a pilot light here, so safety, you always need to know what's going on. Okay, do well we'll let these cook for a while and we'll take, uh, do a load check on them later. Just investigating a bit deeper, I see the one with the LED is the SS12A. And this one, oh, AHD. There's all different ones, and there's another one, AHD, yeah, okay, the SS12A hasn't got the LED, it's a cheaper version, and the HD got the uh, LED in the thing, and this one is also an AHD, but it's not flashing, but look at the corrosion in here, so I need to clean that up, that's why that one might be defective, so... 
investigation will pend. And it is, I turn the light on. It's just a bit of uh, capacitance over the context. Click, there you go. Fantastic. So this switch does a good isolation. The other one must have dampness in it too. Wait for the time constant of Bok to sell off. Click, perfect. And we take the light back on the cell. I'll tick those off. I'll put a good tick on that one. So that's controlled by this device here. Click, there we go. Take the hand off. That's this other one. That should reset itself. Click, there we go. That is also 70 lux. That's this one. Tick on that once as well, so we know it's good. Energize these. I just connected uh, test plateau meter here, capacitor 2 times 680 puff resistor, and we're testing these LED segments to see if they work. Energize device. Oh, they came on and they went off. Something popped. De energize. Okay, I'm testing the photocells as singles, so the standby current of these things is back all 0.4 watts. Got it on the device here, and I'm going to turn the light off, and then uh, see if we get the device to operate. I'll just cover the photocell up. And we watch how the lamp energizes shortly. Beautiful colors. the color looks really good. Snow bulb. Okay, I'll take the cover of the photo cell. See if it's gonna strike on the other filaments in this lamp or the other tube, the arc tube. So that one should be hot. Should technically switch on the right hand side. No, it doesn't. Interesting. He's got a standby little flashing light in them, so I like these. Three, four, ampere. 